My name is Nathan Mills. I live on Hidden Acres Farm here in Donaldson, which is a suburb of Nashville, Tennessee. At Hidden Acres, we board horses for other folks. We use a lot of hay here, but basically the majority of what I put up is for sale. And it's a mixed native grass. Cutting at night is one of the things that help make better hay. My main reason for cutting at night is for time management. You want to spend your daytime hours drying, not cutting. Taking it slow with the baler is key. It needs to be a speed where you give your baler plenty of time to process the windrow comfortably and it will make a tighter, more smooth, compact, beautiful bale. It's important to uh, how it relates to stacking on the trailer. It stacks tighter. All of my hay has to hit the road. Road hazard is a huge concern for me. Also, nobody likes a bunch of pokey, prickly stuff in their bales. So when it's cut softer, it is really good feed quality, especially when it's cut young, before it gets too mature. You get more cuttings, but you get less volume per cut. So you might have more cost on the front end with production, but you're gonna have better quality with your product. We've got 1838 square baler. If you're trying to sell a lot of hay, if you're trying to transport a lot of hay, if you're trying to make bales that uh, people are proud to look at, the inline design is by far the best. Massey makes the best baler money can buy.